Rob Lockman. And I'm Sonny Savaka, lead designer. And I'm Fiona the Tank Girl. And I'm Fiona Fox behind the camera. We're here with Sandy Simarco, lead designer. And uh, we're going to talk On about Elite Dangerous. We're going to talk about Frontiers Elite important. Dangerous. You guys have been adding mad stuff the last like month. Okay, yeah, the, the most recent update is, of course, it's 2.3. 2.3, uh, and it's large it's crew. Called, it's called the the, com uh, yeah. the Commanders. It's in beta right now, right. and it's got a bunch of new features in it. Uh, do you want me to quickly go through them? Uh, yeah, sure. Why don't you just give us a rundown? Sure. Okay, so. Uh, so the main features got multi crew, so in the past you can wing up together and fly together as a group, but you're all in your individual ships. And in a one to one uh, scale galaxy, often it's like, let's, let's wing up, and it's like, where are you? Well, I'm here. Oh, I'm 3,000 light years away. It's going to take a little while. I, I have heard this side of this conversation many times. Exa exactly. So with multi crew, we wanted a very lightweight, drop in, drop out, easy way to, to get to play together with your friends. Oh, so you can be, you can be drop, anywhere. Drop out. Absolutely. Of the game. absolutely. The, the, the way it works is, We've got this, uh, this this conceit called um, a hollow me. So a hollow me is like a, a digital recreation of yourself, okay. and it could effectively be, can be summoned in any someone else's ship. So as a, as a commander of a ship, you could say, "I'm looking for uh, crew." And as a, as a player, you can say, as a commander, you can say, "Well, I'm looking to be crew on a ship." And we've got a, a, we've upgraded, upgraded the matchmaking so that it can join people together, and also, of course, you can invite your friends. Uh, and as a side fringe benefit from that, we've got this whole new little history tab in the comments section of the game. So it means that once you, it's easy to meet up with people, and then it remembers who you've played with. So you can you can invite them as friends. You know, you could basically make new friends more quickly. And if you need to, you can block people more easily as well. Well, yeah, they try and do exactly. a ship or something. But with multi crew, the, the, so the, the captain owns the ship, okay. and he always flies it. So he's he's the helmsman. He's the helmsman. So we've got another roll there called the gunner roll, and the gunner roll takes he takes control of all turreted weapons on the ship, okay. all missile launchers, chaff, limpets, and basically he has a really cool new thing, three, uh, third person camera, like a little camera drone that whizzes around the ship. <laughs> so he, he's got really good spatial awareness, and he controls the turrets on mass, which is very good at focus firing. Uh, and also, he gets other fringe benefits. For example, he can he can target missiles in any direction. So if someone's chasing you, the gunner can just look behind, and lock on missiles. missiles. Yeah, so uh, and do this all rest. So the missiles and torpedoes are going to be a lot more useful now for the larger ships. I, I think I think they will be. Yeah, I mean, it, it, there's a balance always, but it, absolutely. And he can also use limpets, uh, and he can use advanced scanners in the same way. So he can scan sideways kind of things. Oh, cool. So there's some, there's some cool stuff there, but that's not the only feature. We've also got uh, the the commander creator. So up until now, everyone's been a rather generic man or woman with like a, hel a helmet and oh, space oh, suit. The, the, the new creator design, a uh, pirate, he was raving about it. He was messing with He spent all two hours making his character. He spent uh, two hours messing with the, dials. The, 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 I think the guys, the team has done such a great job. It, it's, it does, you can make a character as pretty or as not so pretty as you want. It's very, very customizable. Um, it'll, be, it'll be supported by uh, microtransactions. So we, what we do is we uh, we want funding. We always need funding, but uh, we <laughs> like to have um, funding through cosmetics, not not gameplay changes. Right. To keep the team on the level and on the level playing field. So there's that, and uh, the one I'm particularly pleased with is that there's always been a deeper camera to look outside the ship. The players always wanted more, we always wanted more, so what we've managed to do now is, do, is create a fully fledged camera suite, oh, and it's nice. really nice. It's got loads of camera views, loads of controls for the cameras, it's got depth of field. So I guess we can set. look forward to some sweet machinimas. Or, or, exactly. In a all, all, dangerous. Already in the beta, some of the stuff that we're seeing is wonderful. It's really nice to get that kind of player generated content, and that kind of, it, it, it's really good for the community, right. really good for us. So, uh, and it works really good with multi crew because you, there are cameras inside the no, cockpit and you can see the other people uh, sitting in their chairs oh, so you get, get closer, closer to their faces. <laughs> I bet that's pretty cool in VR. Oh my god, in VR, so, that's yeah, crazy. So we're really pleased. And then of course, stacks of other stuff. There's, uh, we've got me I'm mega I'm ships which like, like the Jack Starport which has moved around in the past. We've got other mega ships like dredges and whatnot that will also do, do the same thing. And they're hopefully the start of some more varied gameplay. Ships that move around, that's terrifying. Ships that can be basically present. That's what I was going to do. Giant ships. Here's a question I have. As far as like the character models are concerned, Thanks, man. you can see them inside the ship. So if the cockpit smashes open because somebody just blasts them, yeah. do you see them like, do you see reactions from their bodies? Uh, so at the, at the moment, I, 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 it, I don't think there are any reactions. Because it's mainly which you don't look stony faced. We've, we've only got so much time, but it is definitely something that we've talked about and players have been, have been talking about. So I can never. I think my nickname is like Sandy No Samarco. 
Uh, I can never guarantee it, I can't give ETAs, but yeah, some sort of reactions is something that we'd be, we'd be looking at. Because I, I think one of the most satisfying moments we can look forward to in the future is when you get to it is like uh, smashing someone's cockpit and then you watch them. <laughs> She's just <laughs> really, really, really wants to watch someone fly out of the cockpit of a ship she blew up. So. So what's coming next? You guys have been adding features every, I mean, I've seen this game at every convention for the past two years. It's amazing. Every time there's been something new and exciting. I, I don't, if, if, frankly, it's, it's, uh, uh, it's amazing for me working on it. The fact that we've, we've been going for years now and we're still plugging away at it and still adding to it. So well, we've got other things coming as well. So sometime later this year, we're going to launch on PS4. Oh, so, that, so that's going to be cool. And it's going to be a full fat version. It's going to come with everything. Everything that's currently in PC. Exactly. Uh, the, base, uh, the base game, all of the updates from Season 1, Horizons, all of the updates from Horizons. It will come with 2.3 and it will get 2.4 as a free update. So okay. it's, it's, oh, hopefully there will be a lock step then. So it, it, will, that be, will they be shared service across PC? So it'll be, it'll be like Xbox in that you don't play in the same instances, but your data is all fed into the background simulation. So oh. are, you are affecting. So uh, everyone affects the same universe. Yes. But they're not. So it's only one universe. Yeah. So tell us for someone who's never played the game before about that background universe and how every action affects it. Wow. Okay. So there is a very complicated algorithm that looks after all of the factions and entities in the game, whether they're system based or whether they're powers that control sectors or superpowers. Uh, and in general, factions are trying to compete and control territory. So a faction might own a starport, it might own an entire system, it might actually own multiple systems, and they can kind of grow and ex expand and shrink. And most of it is based, well, actually virtually all of it actually, is based on player action. So every time you trade, <coughs> you, you trade with the system, or you commit piracy, or you collect bounties, you're basically feeding all these inputs into the system. So, for example, if you're committing lots of crime, it makes the system more unstable and it might eventually go into a lockdown state, where, you know, eventually a crisis mode. Uh, if, you're, if you're trading with particular factions, eventually that faction will gain more influence and they might take over the entire system. So there are loads and loads of inputs and, and it's the player actions that govern how well, how poorly the, the, the factions do in the game. So if someone on Xbox's little group of people takes over a, a sector, that will be reflected on the PC players and PlayStation 4 players? I believe so, yeah. I mean, I'm a little bit frazzled, and so I, 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 I wouldn't want to absolutely claim it. I think all of the numbers basically all do go into that, go into this one big pot. Well, that could be a real big surprise for somebody coming back on the PC after like a week, like, okay, uh, uh, my uh, starboard, my ship's in an enemy territory now. That would, uh -oh. be really, that would be a really big surprise for me if I got it wrong, but I, I think that's uh, I think that's how it works. I like a lead designer who's humble. <laughs> well, I mean, he's just trying to be honest, like, I don't know for sure. I don't know how to do, I can't, I, maybe I wish I could spin, but I don't know how to spin things. So with the multi crew ships, yes. um, there, there is the ability to play smaller ships as like Eagle Fighter. Yes. Yeah. What is the smallest ship currently in game that we can do that with? What can you do with it? And what's the smallest ship currently that we can put a fighter in? Oh, the smallest ship we can put a fighter in, I think, is the Keelback. Okay. So it's like a mid size kind uh, of trade. That's what, that's what yeah, Pirate was looking for, one of those so, so it could stick fighter bases. And, and what is the largest ship currently on the docket? Like, how big can we actually get with these? So the largest ship at the moment, uh, basically there's what... what I, I, I know we have the, like the Federal Corvette. Yeah, the Corvette. Cool, that's cool, the biggest we can get the, the, the cut of the Corvette and the Anaconda, and now the Beluga, uh, which is the, the big passenger liner, they're pretty much the biggest ships. They, they more or less uh, fill uh, the large pads. So they're, they're the biggest ones at the moment. Are there any... Uh, I know I've seen... Uh, like the giant battle cruisers. Is there any? Oh, it's capture ships. Is there any intent on giving players capture ships with the ability to control them? So, so not at the, not the moment. Not at the moment. It, it's been banded around quite a lot. Uh, I can I, see how that would be some real balance issues. Though. Is it on the developer yeah. map somewhere? So interestingly, it's a, it's a footnote at the very bottom corner. Stop asking about this. It's there. What, what has been? What, what has, I think what might be. What, and this is just kind of spitballing. So yes. it's certainly not going to happen at the moment. What would be more likely would be. Uh, you might be able to, because now we can, we've got multi-crew, possibly you can take control of gun batteries on the captive ships. Yeah, or something like, like that. You know, for missions or... Get 20 people together. Yeah. Right. All right, we only have time for one more question. And my last question is, how do you feel about Robertson Space Industries? I, think, I, I, I want them, wish them all the best. I'm looking, for, I'm looking forward to Star Citizen. I think it's going to be awesome. Okay, well, that's, that's very... Uh, right. like, I want to play so this So that game. was really fast. We have what, time for actually one more question. So someone else ask a question. Uh, well, that was, you got one? 
so, uh, what do you got? So, so with the multi crew ships, do you have multiple gunners that would just have to back weapon the arms number? So, no, because, because the way the ships, uh, the guns are laid out, and the, the limit of how many guns there are, it really, it would, it, it sounds cool, but it doesn't really work out in, in, in game, in, in actual gameplay terms. There would be enough reach to do. But you, you can, interestingly, you can have multiple fighter cup con, uh, con rolls. So if you've got a large ship that's got two fighter batteries in its hangar, both the uh, crew men can go into a fighter. But there's only one gun roll. So, so, so you can still give the biggest surprise of uh, they're like, oh, we took your ship down, and then you're like, really? And then two fighters. Launch the fighters. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's Very good. Like, sounds like convoys will be in the future. Thank you so much for your time today. And uh, that's it from us.